um, when the children went back to school, we remained uh, with him. And at that time, he was still working at the deputy president's office. And he was still in parliament, and we continued with our relationship, our courting, until um, around March of 2015, when we were, when my name amongst and we were told to step aside. And I remember that evening, I wasn't aware, we did not know that my name was one of the names. And I remember that evening, as me and him discussing those names, or those people, particular people, or proposed people. And of course, the rumor mill had come out that Marian would be one of them. So he, in fact, is the one who told me, I hear your name is in the list. Where are you discussing this? In Clementine. In your house? In your house. Thank you. Yes. So, of course, the following day, it was confirmed that my name was in the list. And through that process, he was supportive. Um, he would give moral support, say, don't worry, um, let the investigations go on. So, of course, we went through the ESC, through the rotating door, and uh, the morning before I went, I had a chat. After I left, we met for lunch. Uh, so, for even tea, because I stayed there for about eight hours. So, it was a very long. Um, interview process at the ESCC team. So we met in the evening, and of course we gave the reassurance that they all would be well. And we moved on. Um, the investigations continued, I think, the better part of the whole of that 2015. Even though it had been announced that we would be investigated for about 60 days, but it took longer than 60 days. <coughs> because I finally got my clearances um, I think around mid of 2016. Yes. You have said that this time we are facing a crisis. Yes. Who stood by you? Mythical literature. It is your evidence that he gave you the shoulder to lean on? Yes. At that critical moment. At that time. That is. At that time, he was still a boyfriend? Yes. Yes. He moved straight to the issue of the marriage. When they were contacted by who, when, what, what steps were taken, then we don't get out of here. No, to that extent, we will protect Article Limited, to that extent. But it is their case. We don't want to, while we, we have powers to limit and even set timelines, for now, let's just leave it at that. Much of life. Yes. Thank you. Proceed. You entered Article. As who? I entered Articon as uh, the CEO of the company. The CEO. With the what mandates? To run the company, to run the business. Run. Yes. You did you run the business of Articon? Yes, I did. For how long? From um, around August of 2015 all the way to around August of 2018. That's a duration of all? <coughs> three years. For three years? Yes. You are the CEO of Article. Yes. And you were introduced to Article by your boyfriend? Yes. That's all I'm interested about. Yes. Thank you. Let's move far. You have now, as a girlfriend, joined this. What other courtship again did you take? Okay, there was something that I needed to say about that one. I had to put in some money into the company. Yes, and the records are there to show I put in money. How much money did you pump into the company? Um, at, the, at one time, 1.8 million shillings. 1.8 million? Yes, then there was a time I put in 3 million shillings. 3 million shillings? 2 million shillings. And the rest of the money is were given um, by my relatives, which I will not mention here because they are not part of the proceedings. In total, yes. you pumped in how much money? 
you and your relatives? Oh, I can't tell. Totally. Roughly. Um, roughly about um, total. See, you know, this is why I have a problem in this line of questioning. When will Laticon come here to tell inside of the story whether it will be receiving money?